please unclick your mute. Connecting with one another has never been so easy. Um, can you hear me? Can you hear You're me? on. And frustrating. If we're not attached to a robot, we're on the always entertaining virtual conference call. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm not, I'm not hearing any sound. And yes, it works, but only in smaller numbers. Connecting with larger audiences? Well, who knows when we'll be allowed to do that. And that's where a Toronto company called Art Media is hoping to step in. They've used holograms to transport the likes of Tony Robbins and Stephen Hawking to conferences around the world. But with less traveling because of COVID, they've gone smaller, with a focus on healthcare, education, and finance. Instead of having to get on a plane and travel for 24 hours to do a, a, a consult or to do a lecture or to educate people, say, in Singapore, um, you can just beam in, do your 45 minutes, do live Q&A, and then if you want to, you could beam in next to Tokyo and do this exact same thing again. So we become, we make important people really, really efficient. In this COVID-19 world, doing a face-to-face -face interview like this without a mask is a no-no, except Larry's not here. He's in a room all by himself next door. And he could be anywhere in the world right now. In 2019, 250 people gathered for the Blockchain Awards in Toronto. The show saw its numbers quadruple in 2020 when it went virtual. And its full hologram experience this fall is expected to be even larger. We're talking about audiences in China, in Brazil, in Europe, um, and other parts of the world. We hope to have an audience that is is at a minimum 10 times what we were able to create using only a physical space. It should come as no surprise that studies show face-to-face -face meetings are more effective than conference calls or emails. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's just a movie, but in Star Wars, Princess Leia chose a hologram message over sending a letter. And look how that turned out. Of course, there are drawbacks to holograms. Just like, so nice meeting you, Larry. But in a pandemic, who's shaking hands anyway? Mike Gerlite, Global News, Toronto.